We just don't have much room for error versus a Denver team, especially on their home floor. Shady, before I kick it over to you, I gotta be honest, man. Um, the Lakers should feel hopeless. Mm. And I'm gonna give you all a very somber take. I won't do all the gyrations, all the hand movements, because it's unnecessary if you just watch the game. They should feel hopeless because what the Lakers lacked, it became extremely evident. The depth. The Lakers had three players play 40 plus minutes. The Nuggets had no players play 40 plus minutes. We asked for Anthony Davis to go crazy and go crazy he did, 32 mm -hmm. and 14. We asked LeBron James to ball out and ball out he did, 19 first half points, including several made three pointers in which he did not miss one. But there was a moment at the end of the game which should tell you all why the Lakers have no hope. A minute, 10 seconds, roughly. Anthony Davis is going up for a basket. Mm. Anthony Davis, he's going up trying to make himself one, and please roll the tape as I'm talking over it. Anthony Davis is going up trying to make a shot. He misses. Now, that's not that big a deal, right? After AD misses, surely LeBron James will follow up and he'll put it in the basket. LeBron James, he misses. AD is fighting. He's fighting with all his strength. But I want y'all to pay attention to this. Oh. Bending over in the middle of the game. There is one cardinal sin in all of sports. Don't do that. LeBron James has a 13-foot head start on Jokic, but watch how this possession ends, family. Anthony Davis, his hands on his knees. LeBron James, he forfeits his 13-foot head start. And just like that, the Denver Nuggets score and make it a 9-point game, an 11-point game, and it is over. Can we cut to Anthony Davis bending over on hands on his knees, please? This is a cardinal sin. Mm. This is the only thing that you literally cannot do at any point in time in any competition sport. We're coached at a young age. You've played sports, little league, pee wee, middle school, high school. Stand up, show no sign of weakness. And in that specific moment, that is when I knew the Lakers had no hope. Because Anthony Davis, he gave all he could, and I applaud him for doing that. LeBron James, he gave all he could, and I applaud him for doing that. But if I am supposed to trust the future and the hope of the Lakers on D'Angelo Russell, that is a hopeless situation. Shady, I think the Lakers should feel hopeless. Mm. What's say uh, you? No, no. They're, they're in good shape. They're cool. They lost the first game, right? On the road against the... the, 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 the Defenders. The, yeah, the yes, champs. They, 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 I mean, Jokic is the MVP probably. So they, they lost to a good team. That's cool. That's why you have this seeding. The, the rule is this. In the playoffs, you're the way team. All you got to do is steal one game. Mm -hmm. steal one. Right? When you take this trip from L.A. all the way to Denver, you say, all we got to do is win one game. That's it. So, and then you, you show this video, right? And a uh, good video, right? And, 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 and good room. <laughs> Two minutes later, you know, I'm saying. Bro, it's a minute left. They damn uh, 11. Like, I mean, yeah. you know what's going to happen. They lost. That's cool. I think they regroup. Good video. Um, <laughs> and, and I think that they make adjustments, right? I think playing with a veteran team like a, the Lakers, like, like having LeBron, ADs, we're going to make adjustments. And I think if you really watch the game, they were in it. Of course. They kind of let it slip away from them. And that's okay, right? I mean, obviously, you want to win a game, but... I think if you have that same mentality, right, when you have that lead, try to find a way to finish it. Yeah, and they mm -hmm. didn't do that. So I think they're in good shape. And then you talk about D'Lo. Yes, sir. It was always a question mark about D'Lo. He's always up and down. I will say this year, though, he's he been pretty better. solid. Yes. He's been shooting that rock. So if you ask point. who's the third most productive player, right, since we've been watching Lakers, you're going to say AD and LeBron. The third one, I'm going with D'Lo. Yeah. He's been shooting it efficiently from the three-point line. I think that we'll see a different game this next game against the Nuggets. So... I'm not, I'm not uh, throwing the cards in yet. I'm not throwing the... You know, I throw my chips in all the way sometimes. You do. You and do. it always does not work. <laughs> but I do think the Nuggets are a good team, but I think the Lakers still have a shot. Where you at on it, Joy Taylor? Should the Lakers feel hope? No. Mm. No. When they get down three games, we'll start to have the hopeless conversation. <laughs> I mean, they're supposed to lose this game. It actually would be a tremendous feat if they were to go in there and win. Now, I know James thought they were going to win game one. But for them to go in there and steal game one against the defending champs at home. Yeah. This is a series. Right. This is not the tournament. This is not the play-in. This is a series. They're supposed to lose this game. Now, if there was something that happened in the game that was so dramatic that we felt like, wow, this is obviously going to be a reflection of the rest of the series. There's nothing that they can do about this particular thing. What did we learn? Jokic is going to score a bunch of points and do what he wants to do. We knew that. We knew that Anthony Davis and LeBron James were going to have to play a, a tremendous game in order for them to even be in it. Knew that. What the Lakers are going to have to do in order to win this series is be perfect. You will be perfect. Mm. That's what they need to do. And they weren't. And particularly when you let things slide away from you in this, in this series against this team, they're going to take advantage of it. You saw how quick that happened. I did think mm -hmm. it was a good video. No, again, to Shay's point, game, game's kind of over. But, <laughs> but that's the type of stuff, that's how quickly it can go from maybe we're still in it to it's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. That's how good they are. And they're, going, they're not going to do that.
they're not going to get tired. No, they're not going part, to get overwhelmed. That part. So you have to play your absolute best. But everyone's going to have to play their best against the Nuggets. They're the there best team in the league. So I, I don't think there was any reveal in this game. I don't mm, think there's anything to panic point. about. Yeah. We knew what they were going yeah. to have to do to win. They didn't do it. And they lost. Let and they're me, supposed to lose game one. Have you ever you, you played in Denver? Yes, of course. The worst. I, Altitude. <laughs> no doubt. The worst. I, you can't breathe. The worst. You can't breathe. So I, I, I get it, though. The but worst. you know what they say, James? A playoff series doesn't start until the... Away team wins. Away team. That's what they say. Yeah. James, quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not you quickly. I will yeah. be quick. Joy, you said a lot of things. Shade, you said a lot of things. A lot of great things. I don't think there was a real in, reveal in this game. But that's why I am panicked. Because if we didn't learn anything new, and everything we knew leading up to this game was the fact that the Nuggets had won eight straight, mm -hmm. yeah. and we learned nothing new when the Nuggets again won, then that is an absolute reason in my yeah. mind to panic because unless something gets revealed, unless something changes, the Lakers will continue to lose how they've also always lost. Shady, you said they're gonna make uh, adjustments. Which, they've made adjustments games yeah. four, three, two, and one of last year. They made adjustments in the four games in between. They made adjustments yesterday. James, what we saw yesterday yeah. is the same game we saw mm -hmm. at, uh, Saturday. It was the same game we saw all four games last yeah. year. LeBron and AD played their hearts out. The Lakers did not have enough. D'Angelo Russell came up short. Mm -hmm. For context, and James, I'm done with it for now, D'Angelo Russell last year shot two for 15 from yeah, three versus yeah, the Nuggets. Yeah, yeah. So are we surprised that he shot one for nine? You shouldn't be, because D'Lo won't show up yeah. in these types of moments. So mm -hmm. what he did Saturday mm -hmm. is what he did last series, yeah. which is what he'll likely do this series. Yeah, I mean, that's cool, because that's what he did last year, but he's been playing better this year, shooting the ball. A lot better. Sure. One thing I will say about the Denver Nuggets, they are a really good basketball team because their supporting cast always shows up. Jokic and Murray is going to show up, but it's very rare we can point a finger and say, dang, Gordon had a bad game. You know what I'm saying? Dame uh, Porter had a bad game. They always do what they're supposed to do. If they open, they're going to knock down a three. Yeah. They're going to drive. They're going to make the right pass. D-Lo. Austin Reeves, if y'all don't show up, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's going to be a sweep if y'all don't show up. Bron and AD will come to play. If the supporting cast does not come to play, it's over. I don't think D'Lo is going to go one for nine again. He had a lot of wide open shots. Yeah. Austin Reeves, it's time to get aggressive. You out there to score the basketball. You are not out there for your defense, bro. I don't know. I don't know if you know that. You are out there to oh, try to create and that. score the basketball, man. That's what they need to do. If they do that, then there's a lot of hope. That's why I'm giving hope, because I don't feel like the Lakers played their best. If you sit here and said, dang, D'Lo shot well, Austin Reeves played well, Bron and they, and they still lost by double digits, it ain't no hope. But they did not play their best, and they had, it wasn't like a, you got to be special. Just make the wide open dang shot. Let's be real, though, Joy. Is the Nuggets didn't play their best either. Jokic by no means did. I also think Good job, James, Anthony Davis. I, but I also think it's a zero-sum game. This is why I'm hard to have this conversation, at least to side with you, James, because I think about it like there's one basketball. Mm -hmm. So Reeves took nine shots, went five for nine, 13 points on nine shots. Shade, you know the solid. You get 13 points on nine shots, it's cool. He only took nine shots. Why? Because what you asked of AD, James Jones, mm -hmm. you said, AD, I need you to yeah, show up. Yeah. AD shot. What we say about Braun, Joy, on Friday. Braun shot. Yeah. The only one basketball. So I can't come on air and say, Reeves, I need you to show up more. AD showed up. So There's only if, one ball. Yeah, but, so at the so, point so which, for them three balls, what if what if my man go five for nine? D'Lo? Yeah. Then it's a one-point no game. No doubt. But you said you so, said I don't think D'Lo will go one for nine again. But last year he averaged one for seven point five. So playing, why would you not? He played a lot better this year, last year, man. He, he, he was. This year. But let's let's remember because we all watched going into last year's playoffs. Mm -hmm. D'Lo was putting up buckets last year going into the playoffs but he got run off the court because he couldn't play no defense. So D'Lo can always score. I, I, I can't trust D'Angelo Russell. If, that, if that's what y'all think the Lakers need to do to win, I just think, man, y'all y'all really it. putting y'all confidence in a thin stream. But it's... Oh, it's thin. It, it, yeah, but it, it, is, it is on D'Angelo well, Russell. Yes. I said this last week he was the X Factor in this series. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to hit his shots. He's going to have to play how he's playing during the regular season. Slick talked about it. That he, there's, a, there's a style of play that he needs to play where he's kind of playing free, and that's not really yes. what you can do in the postseason. He's going to have to make that adjustment. That's what's being asked of you. You play with LeBron James and Anthony Davis for the Los Angeles Lakers. You're in the playoffs. 
You're either gonna show up or you're yeah. not. But what we can sit here and formulate all we want to. At the end of the day, LeBron said it. You have to be perfect against them. They're going to take advantage of your turnovers, which they had a lot. No doubt. They're going to take advantage of you not making free throws. They're going to make adva take advantage of mental errors on top of you not hitting your shots and doing what you need to do. This is the best team in the world. Yeah. You're gonna have to be perfect. This is not a th this is not an evenly matched scenario. Correct. This is a bad matchup. This is a, 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 a team that they go up against and lose habitually. You're going to have to be perfect, and that includes D'Angelo Russell. I, I, but I, that's an scapegoat for me, though, because no team's is perfect. Like they like they didn't play. I didn't think they played that great. They play play well. I'll throw the Nuggets. Mm -hmm. They could play a lot. They could play a lot better. Agreed. So when he's saying that, like that's the that's the scapegoat out of it. He did the same thing with the. With the Warriors, like, to, to make it, if they beat him, make it a bigger thing. <laughs> but I ain't gonna go into that. Break it down, break it down. I'll, I'll say this, though. I, I want to see Andy Davis challenge Jokic more, right? In what way? Because uh, uh, sometimes I see, um, um, how can Moore guard him a little bit and try to, I guess, give him different matches? But, yo, sometimes, look, man, I got him. Yeah. He made this big thing about how he wants to get defense player of the year. And yeah. he has an argument, though. Yes, he, he does. does. He yes, does play good does. defense. Yes, he does. But, but, uh -oh. yeah. hold on. Lady back. <laughs> he got a point. But if, I, if I'm a lawyer going to get something, I'm like, well, man. Well, well, you always don't stick the MVP all the time. Mm. And you always don't mind guarding you. Mm. So if you don't mind guarding me, why can't I guard you? Yeah. And I need to see more of that. Question for you, 2-5. Mm. I feel like we're asking unrealistic things of Anthony Davis. Why? A top 75 player? Yes. Are we too much? Yeah. One of the highest paid in the Lakers? No doubt. Another, another, no, another extension? Shady, I'm not going to put you... Deepest player of the year? Yes, Are you sir. sure? Here's why, fam. Okay. I talked about it before the show. Right. Um, in prepping for this. If you have a Bentley, Bentley gonna cost you about I got one. You do, no doubt about it. It gonna cost you 250. You know what you're not gonna do with your Bentley 25? You're not taking it off road, because that's not what it's built to do. Now it costs 250. So in theory, I I paid a quarter mil for this. You don't think I'm driving it wherever and whenever? You're not, because it wasn't built for that. AD played 45 minutes, four yeah. more minutes than anybody else in the game. He had 32, he had 14. But we all know on this desk, yeah. AD is not built to do that consistently and go on both ends of the court. What did we say about Zion last week? Joy, you said it, James, you echoed it, and I echoed it as well. We're not surprised that Zion got hurt because his body's not constructed for that. So we can sit up here and wax poetically all that we want about we need more from AD, we need we more from need AD, more. we need more from AD. But for, to ask AD to play 48, yeah. or plus 45, it ain't much room for air, yeah. to ask him to play another 45 to 46 offensively, defensively, guard the best player in basketball over the last three years on the defensive end. Yeah. Then on the offensive end, we need you to be the best player in basketball, because you got to be better than well, the best this player is, in basketball. Yeah, but that's, that's what great is, players do! Yeah, that, not only is that what, what great players do, what are you talking about here? Like, that is, he is, what? he is built for off-roading. Like literally, he's <laughs> he's built for to be a, a, a off road vehicle. <laughs> but you know, <laughs> that's what he gets paid but, to do. That's he, what his position is. But like. he's not he's not built physically and anatomically and kinetically because we've seen how often he gets hurt and his body breaks down. So we all know like AD. Sh when it, if you see AD playing 45 minutes consistently, James, you're going to say yeah, but, he going to get hurt. But forget all that, though. Like, uh -oh. just, just forget all the X's and O's and all that. Talk to me. What Shady trying to say is, who gives us the best chance on, on, on uh, Jokic? You! So why we got all these other dudes even on him? Even if you are tired, you give us the best chance. You, you up there for defensive player of the year. We know you might be tired. We know all this funny stuff could be going on. You give us the best chance. Jokic was two for seven on AD. So James. you doing all that, like, just... You accept the you, challenge and go up there and guard him, whether you do good or not. Now, if, if it's a foul trouble thing, then I understand that, right? Because you want to you wanna save your best player. I get sure. that. But if you don't have issues... Bro, we need you, man. But here, here's the only... <laughs> right now. <laughs> I have so much... I have tension with what y'all are saying because y'all are treating AD as though he's not human. The We're reason I say AD he's not like human... He's a really good defensive player. The reason I say that is, can we show the still shot once again? <laughs> Gotta show the still shot. Right. At this moment, y'all know, we've all been athletes at this desk. Yeah. Joy, you played four sports in three seasons, still trying to figure out how you did that. <laughs> oh, but Shady and James Jones, we've all done that. <laughs> That's more we, of my We Mr. all Lair. know, and, sh and Joy should know best in track, you can't do this. This is a cardinal sin. Yeah, I don't care how much time it, it's, it's literally. And meanwhile, here's what's worse, Joy. While AD's doing this, you all know what Jokic is doing? Right. About to go get a dunk, yeah. running. So I say all this to say, if y'all are saying, yo, AD, you got to do... He tried, no, 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 y'all. No, no, no. He tried. We're not saying you're doing this, that, but we're not that's saying as bad as it can a, get. We're not saying it's AD's fault at all. AD played a heck of a basketball game. Right. Are we, all we are saying is, is sometimes you got to say, Joy, move. I got him. Like, I've been doing a good job on him. Achimura, move. Like, go guard some, I got him. Like, and it's that's not that's even that's like you just, do. yeah, and it's not even like you just finna just stop, yo, because nobody in the NBA is just stopping James, him, but you are our best chance. What, let me ask you all this question. Hopefully y'all know the answer. What makes a coward of us all? 
I ain't a coward. What makes a coward of us all? Of Dang, you know the answer. I'm tired of y'all. Fatigue. That's what that is. But that's a quote. You fatigue can't makes pride. a coward talk of about us all. Fatigue in game one of the playoffs. Yeah. That, you can talk about fatigue in the Western Conference Finals. You cannot talk about fatigue in game one of the playoffs. Why not? Like you shouldn't be tired? Why would you be tired? What? You as tired as everybody else. I'm with you. But clearly he was. That's what I'm telling you. Like, clearly AD, and I only told that one little picture. I, this, I truly believe not... that is because him and Brown Brown both missed them yeah. layups. And he this, like, that, that was more of an happening? emotional handling yes. situation. I don't... I, I don't I'm, nobody here is blaming Anthony Davis for what happened. What really it is, is that you cannot make mistakes, you cannot have turnovers, you have to hit your free throws, and you're going to not only need to be perfect, but as a team, in four games, to beat this, this Denver Nuggets team, you're going to need an above what you do effort That's true. and performance. Yes. That's true. They are a better team than the Los Angeles Lakers. They are more currently winners than the Los Angeles Lakers. The, do the Lakers have enough pieces if they all play up to their potential and more to beat and, the Nuggets? And Denver doesn't. That's the other thing. Because if the Lakers play up to their potential, Denver can't play up to their well, potential. Correct, I mean, but this yeah, is, yeah, what, this the, is, but this is how it works. Though. Like, that's how it works. When yeah. there are upsets, that's what happens. The best team, the team that's supposed to win, the team that's, that's, that's favored, the one that's, that's expected to win, is going to play down, and that other team or player individual is going to play up. That's how sports work. Yeah. But they're going to have to do it multiple times. Are, are they going to be able to do it? I don't know. I think they have the capacity to do it because we've seen it happen before. And, and I wait, 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 when? Because teams I, beat better teams, no all, doubt. All but the time. I, I haven't watched, seen. The, the I haven't seen. I haven't seen with injury. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the Lakers play perfect for four games out of six. I know we're saying perfect. But, but see, but I, I, that's yeah, why I said I, I want to take that thing. Like Ross yeah. said, take that out because yeah. nobody plays perfect, yeah. right? If you just capitalize on the mistakes of the Nuggets, first of all, if you really watch the game, they kind of was doing that early. Mm -hmm. They was up, and they yeah. let it go. They got to be more consistent, and they need their role players. You said it earlier. Yeah. They need their role players to play better. Yeah. I th if if D'Lo plays better and Austin Reeves plays a little bit better, I think they win that game. And they I need think they and win they, that game. Because you know this, because now you're putting pressure on them. Yo, we letting these guys shoot open shots, and they missing it. So in the huddle, you're like, yo, cool, Ada, keep doing what you're doing, guys. Yeah. But when they're making them shots, it's like, damn, what do we do now? And I know it's cliche, but the Lakers need those plays. Like, I know all the coaches say, hey, man, they better than us. We got to we gotta play way harder than them. The Lakers need those plays. And I'm not saying that the Nuggets going to be on their knees, but we need to be beating them boys down the court. Like, but for the, real, for but, real. But the problem is, like, and you, you all are asking, <laughs> what y'all are asking of the Lakers is something that the Lakers haven't shown y'all the ability to do what versus effort? the Nuggets. No, to, to out-effort the Nuggets. They've never out-efforted the Nuggets. To out-shoot the Nuggets. They don't out-shoot the Nuggets when they play the Nuggets. They have better shooting depth, the, Not when they play the Nuggets. You know, like, I love what you all are saying. It's just not realistic. Nothing that you... I, I don't feel like anything that has been said is so, genuinely realistic. So, so the, because, like we I said... Him, we should get him a trophy no, now, then. We should get him a trophy yeah. now. First, the Lakers. If D-Lo plays better, that game is very, very close in the fourth quarter. Sure, court. he hasn't played better against the Nuggets. Oh, I'm saying... So... If the Lakers, but the, if the Lakers come out here and win right now, you're just going to say it's going to be a gentleman sweep. That, 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 yeah, that's, that's what you're saying? Before. You just saying they have just oh, absolutely, absolutely no yeah. chance. Yeah. That's what there's, there is no chance. Absolutely no chance. Barring injury, and we don't ever bank on injuries. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak, and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.